Channel 4's Francesca Amaker was there. The I-Team's Francesca Amaker first broke the story. Channel 4's Francesca Amaker helped make it happen and has the story. Well, there are three things that made this kickoff pep rally a great time. Of course, there were cheerleaders, lots of good music, and lots of good food. Tonight at dinner, the king told us that the biggest highlights, or one of the biggest highlights of the trip, was meeting our own royalty, President Barack Obama, and of course, the first lady. This event is happening for the next two hours right here at Jack's Chamber. We're having a good time, and again, we're setting off the season. We're just starting it. This is the big pep rally, so be sure to come one out. That's right, Ken. I'm meeting a lot of fans. I'm meeting a lot of characters as well, including including Yoda here. Judge me by my size, do you? Okay, look, Yoda, no one's judging you by your size, but a lot of the fans who are coming to this after party are definitely judging the premiere of the Star Wars, the movie, and they had some great things to say. This isn't exactly a galaxy far, far away, but tonight for the movie premiere of Star Wars, The Force Awakens, it was close enough for fans to feel the force within them. I didn't know what to expect, and I think they did a great job putting it together. You've got music, you've got uh, libations, and there's a lot of cool people. Incredibly excited. I took off work tomorrow in preparation for the aftermath of all of it. At this local movie theater, Star Wars came alive. <laughs> As fans reenacted the cantina scene from the debut back in 1977 before hopping in line at Sunray Cinemas. The movie has already broken the record for most tickets sold on the popular movie ticketing website Fandango. And according to the Droids, Han Solos, and Leia's who saw the movie for the first time tonight, that record will continue to soar. It's kind of shocking and kind of surprising. It's, it's amazing. I think people out there should go and see it. It was amazing. Uh, they really brought uh, a lot of new style of filmmaking to the old style of Star Wars with all the characters that we love and robots and there was all kinds of stuff happening. It was like, pew, pew, pew. it was so cool. I tried my best not to have any spoilers in this story for you. And they're going to be partying in this after party until midnight tonight. The second showing here at Sunray Cinemas was at 10 p.m. about 10 minutes ago. So I can't wait to speak to that batch of fans. We're now reporting live in Riverside. Francesca Amaker, Channel 4. May the Force be with you. I am wearing <laughs> Jaguar pants, Jaguar bag, Jaguar shirt, Jaguar hat, and I got my Jackson DeVille. Like most Jaguar fans, Lisa Branch is roaring with spirit from her head to her toes. Go Jaguars! Go Jaguars! Go Jaguars! She and her husband are small business owners who say they know the value of being supportive. Support that was felt by local food vendors. Sauce for you as well. And even the players who took to the stage to show their appreciation to roaring fans. Coming out here and just knowing we have their support, it gives you a little bit more motivation to not only to do it for us, but to do it for the city. A city that's ready for the Jaguars to unleash the animal and feel the same energy and spirit that's in the hearts of all of their fans. Since Powerball launched in Florida back in 2009, there have been plenty of winners here, actually 10 to be exact. And the folks that I spoke to right here at St. Nicholas Sitco, they said they believe they could be number 11 tonight. It doesn't matter who you are, it seems like everyone is doing it, placing all of their luck on the record-shattering $1.5 billion jackpot. It's like a four ticket I've got today. Four one? Yeah. I'm buying them everywhere. I get them every side of town. What are you buying with that billion dollars? Probably my mama house. Hello. And I'm moving back from Branson, Missouri. Wednesday evening, the St. Nicholas Food Mart was packed with customers. $1 dollars? Yeah. Car right? Yeah. This one is 5000 Mm-hmm. Well, for a dollar game. This one is 10000 And the $20,000 we couldn't keep, he took it with him. So this is a pretty lucky store. It is. That was my cue to jump in line. Good luck. This is it. That's the one. Wish me luck. The last drawing on January 9th marked the 19th drawing without a grand prize winner. So tonight, many longtime customers told tickets. me this drawing is theirs for the taking. And they already have big plans for the mega moolah. $1,000 a day for one year. That's $365,000 to total strangers. If I win, wow, it's so much money, I wouldn't know. Probably a new car. Well, thank you. I always wanted a Porsche. I'm just relying on a uh, blessing and luck. Good luck, Terry.
<laughs> good luck to everyone who is playing Powerball tonight. All I can say is good luck. And of course, Channel 4, we are your family and friends, so be sure to share the wealth. We're now reporting live for Chess Gamaker Channel 4, the local station.